Hello Aquarius, this is Lisa with Heart of Inspiration and I'm here for your September 2019 general reading. This reading is for sun, moon, or rising signs. So if this doesn't fit your sun sign, go check out your rising and or your moon sign. All right Aquarius, I've pulled the card so let's get into it. I started off with, I don't know why I always can't find this darn book. Um, these three cards are energy oracle cards, okay? So let's talk about those cards first, and then we'll talk about the tarot reading down below. So we start off with a man holding a coin. This is um, very much male manifestation energy, a lot surrounding contracts, abundance, wealth. Um, if you are waiting any type of, you know, windfall or settlements or anything like that, um, promotions at the job, starting a new job and the, I mean the new business, starting a new job, starting a new career, or the business starts to take off, something like that. You know, we need divine masculine and divine feminine energy in order to actually manifest, right? You need a man and a woman to make a baby. That's the way it works. So this could very much in its simplistic terms um, actually symbolize a man being very important in the actual manifestation of this um, material abundance, um, monetary financial abundance. Um, it could be divine masculine energy showing itself. Um, but this is really saying, hey, it's on, it's like basically here, just waiting for you to grab. We also have the first chakra, Archangel Michael. Now, you know, your first chakra, your root chakra is at the base of your spine. And Archangel Michael, you know, he's the great protector, right? And so this is saying, hey, where you may have felt some instability before, struggled with instability or um, shaky foundations, be it, again, this is really very monetarily driven. This is a very monetarily driven reading here, very much financial. So where there's been maybe a lack of stability in the home, money has been a little tight, whatever the case may be, this card is saying, guess what? That time's over. Guess what? You know, really ask Archangel Michael to come and assist you and to protect the home, protect the stability, to protect the finances, and then to help bring usher in those finances as well. And then we have contract. So this card, definitely, you see the justice card. So judgments, contracts, there's a contract that's being wait, that's waiting in the wings and will present itself very shortly to be signed that's definitely in your favor. Um, judgments, um, settlements, um, you know, again, new contracts for your job, new contracts for your business, um, all sorts of things. So, you know, financial binding legal agreements coming into play. There could also be upcoming. So this could be maybe you're starting negotiations. This is a good time. This is a good month for those negotiations. It looks like everything is coming in your favor. in this regard. So going to the tarot, we're going to start that what's coming towards you is the Ace of Wands, brand new passionate starts and with the quickness like the this basically I hear fortune is changing on a dime with the High Priestess. Let me make sure you can see that with the High Priestess there as well. Follow your intuition to the end. Okay. You are hidden things that have been hidden from you before are about to be illuminated people's ulterior motives are about to be illuminated you're just going to know when you walk into a place and you get into somebody's presence you're going to know if they mean you good or they don't and not, and not only that you're also going to know how to do, subvert them if they don't mean you good and there is a transformation here with the death card so there is a transformation the tide is turning you are coming into power in this situation Whereas maybe before you felt like you really didn't have the power or you weren't sure this was going to work out for you. Oh, Aquarius, but it is. You're bringing in the magician energy. So you're, this really feeds off of this divine masculine um, manifestation energy, right? That's beautiful. You've been in, um, you've been having some anxiety about the situation for a while, but I feel with that nine of swords, that's releasing itself, Right. Um, and finally, you're beginning to see that with the three of wands, your ship 
is indeed coming in. You can see the light at the end of the tunnel. You can see the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. What could be an obstacle, the energy that could be an obstacle for you is the chariot. So perhaps the swiftness in which this is moving is a bit disconcerting for you, right? Um, yeah, that's definitely you with that King of Swords energy, right? It's a little disconcerting for you. You're feeling a little uneasy and you're not sure, like you want to be absolute sure that you're not leaving any money on the table, that you're not um, misstepping, that um, you're concerned because it's moving so fast that perhaps these people are kind of like trying to hide or steal something from you. And what's actually going to help you is this Nine of Pentacles energy. You've been very careful and very good at planning all the way through this whole process and just resting on that, right? You've been through this tower moment. You know, that tower represents like the Tower of Babel, right? Where, where um, people came together to try to reach God, right? And it was like this one unified like language and this one unified mind. And then as, you know, the story in the Bible goes, then Babel was destroyed. Um, and then the, the plot, the plan to reach the heavens was destroyed. I look at it in juxtaposition with the rest in context of this reading as that any, everybody else's plans that they may have had to do you dirty and do you wrong, gone. Absolutely, positively gone. Okay? So what they meant for bad, basically there's been such a shakeup that they're now like in the state of confusion because they couldn't do what they wanted. And this is only in certain cases, right? In other cases, you've had to have a huge shakeup of your own in order to be able to accept this abundance as it comes in and accept the fact that you deserve this abundance and it's right for you. And the fact that there's been some delays before, but now I feel it moving ahead with this quickness, that's actually what's going to help. Like the realization that it's really not moving as quickly as you feel. This has been just a long time coming and now it's finally ready to come into its fullness, right? Now, um, outcome or advice, the hermit. I'm telling you, either the hermit or the queen of pentacles, Virgo energy is showing up in a big way in all of our readings today. So let's see why. Yeah. So listen, I know that um, you've gone through such a tough time, Aquarius. Some of you. This doesn't fit everybody. That's okay. You've been through a tough time and rather withdrawn, right? But withdrawn for a reason because you knew you had to focus in so heavily on what you're bringing forth. But now you found victory. Like you've studied so long, you've worked so hard, you've kind of withdrawn and been off to yourself. You've not spoken to a lot of people about the situation. You've not like, you've not put it out there right? So that people could speak ill against it. You've done everything just as you're supposed to do. That contract is on its way. You're going to get victory. The con it's all matter of fact, it's not, you're going to get it. Victory is already here. So just embrace it, right? It's good. It's for the good of you. It's for the good of your household. It is for the greater good. And it's here. It's finally, finally here. All right, Aquarius, we're done. Um, thank you so very much for being here. Again, if you're new, thank you so much. I really do appreciate you. Um, please consider liking, subscribing, and sharing. And if you do subscribe, please also consider hitting that bell button. Um, that's going to be very important so you know when I'm coming on. And make sure that, like, dropping new content or coming on live, I do that a lot. And do make sure that your notifications are on so that you'll get YouTube notifications. My returning subscribers, thank you so much for your continued support. I always appreciate you so much. Peace, love, blessings, and joy be unto you today, tomorrow, and for all eternity. Namaste. Bye-bye.